My name is Ruben and today we're going to talk about bikes. More specifically, today we're going to talk about the suspension design of the Madonna. The Madonna is based around 160 mm of travel. It's a four bar linkage design with a relatively high main pivot. We're going to divide the topic of the suspension design into three chapters. The first chapter will be impact absorption. So how does the suspension handle impacts? The second one will be pedaling efficiency and the third one braking influence. The first chapter of impact absorption is defined by the leverage ratio. And that may sound like a very technical term, but it simply describes the ratio between the travel on the shock and the travel on the rear wheel. The suspension of the Madonna is designed around a large rocker link that offers 20% of very predictable progression. Another feature is that we offer two different rocker links, the Rocker 60 and Rocker 65. We'll go into full detail on in another video, but basically the Rocker 60 is best for lighter riders up to 90 kilograms and the Rocker 65 is best suited for riders over 90 kilograms. We decided to remove the bushings on the shock mount um, we use ball bearings on both ends, which adds to the small bump sensitivity of the suspension. The second chapter of the Madonna suspension design is pedaling efficiency. We've got a relatively high main pivot that is responsible for high anti-squat values. What this does is that it counteracts the suspension moving while pedaling while climbing. I personally never close my shock when I'm climbing. The third chapter is braking influence. We've designed the suspension to be very active on the braking, which means that if you're in a rough section, the suspension will work just as when you're coasting. So to summarize, we've got 160 millimeters of travel with 20% progression. We offer two different rocker links. If you wanna learn more about the suspension design, you can go to the website, send me a message or leave a comment down below.